Hey there, welcome back to A Homestead. Uh, still working on the yurt here, off and on, and uh, got tired of screwing around on the decking and wanted to take a break and take this opportunity and show you how to build some stairs. So, let's get started. So first things first, how do we figure out where to put the landing, the pad? Uh, the way I did that is I leveled, put a level off the top of the decking, or the top of the framing, and leveled out and measured down. Uh, five foot was about my uh, average that I was getting here. And then I put that into online, you go online, go to mycarpentry.net or .com. That gives you put in five foot for your distance or your distance from the decking to the ground. And then that gives you all your lengths. Um, so once I did that, I knew that my length was gonna be uh, what it is and measured out there and set my pad. Another thing you could do is once you go onto my carpentry and get that information, you could cut the ends of your um, stringer here and then just have that as a template and then set your pad from there. Um, so now that we figured out where the pad goes, let's go ahead and cut some stringers. It's not as hard as you think. So before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's talk about the stair framing itself. This is called a stringer. And then you have your treads and your risers. Uh, typically your treads are 11 inches and your risers are uh, seven, seven, 11. It's really easy to remember. Um, they can change depending on your lengths and your heights and stuff like that, but usually it's not a very drastic change. Uh, standard steps are seven and 11. I mean, you can go really big steps, but then you start messing with the structural, the framing, and you have to totally change your framing design. Uh, I decided to go with a 2x12. This is pressure treated. It is ground contact. At the base here, I am going to do a 2 by material on the um, concrete so that I can put in redheads or concrete bolts to hold that down. So now that we kind of know what stairs are all about, let's go cut some. Okay, so let's take a second and talk about the tools um, to draw it out. What I have here is a framing square, carpenter square, and then these little uh, stair gauges. Um, really, you're only gonna need them once for cutting your first board because you'll just use your first board as your sample for all your next ones. But they do come in extremely uh, handy. So let's check our measurements real quick. So now that we know what our um, uh, tread links and our riser links are, I'm gonna set this at 10 and a half from the corner to there. And this is a six and 11 sixteenths. Yep, one underneath three quarter. So this is our tread and this is our riser. One thing I wanna say is leave, leave some room down at the bottom. Um, you're gonna have some cuts that you're gonna have to make here to, for your landing. So, I mean, not too much, but enough. Make sure you're not taking up too much that you won't make it all the way up there. <clears throat> so, this is my tread and this is my run. 10 and a half. Try not to throw too many numbers at you because yours is probably gonna be different. By uh, six and 11 sixteenths. And then the next thing I'll do is just continue making this mark up. So there's my riser. And then I'm just putting the 10 and a half right on the edge of there. Make sure this is set. There's a little chip out of the wood here. And then mark it. This is the bottom. Uh, the concrete will be here. So, uh, according to the uh, calculator, this last step needs to be five and three sixteenths. So I measured five and three sixteenths off my 
um, tread down, did two of them, and then I'll just mark this with a straight edge. Cut that out. <clears throat> uh, and then also, this is going to be square right here. So we'll want to mark that real quick. And I'll just square off my tread. So this will go away <clears throat> and that'll go away. We got our bottom figured out. Let's go up to the top. The way that this is gonna work, this is my top step right here. So basically all I am going to do is cut this off. I'm just taking my riser and running it through. And I'm gonna cut that off right there. So this will go away and this will go away and this my existing deck is like this, and these stairs will come straight out. Before we start cutting, just, just so you're aware, I'm only gonna cut to the barely, barely gonna touch the corner and uh, of the tread and the riser. I don't wanna go any further. I don't wanna mess with the, <clears throat> the integrity of this framing back here of the stringer. So we'll just go through and cut all these out, and then we'll come back with a handsaw and finish them up. Let's get to it. All right, got them all cut. Uh, there's just a little bit of wood holding on where the uh, blade didn't cut into the corner. So I use my personal favorite, a little pull saw and uh, take all these off and we'll see how we did. Alrighty, so there we have it. Now I only gotta do it three more times. Now that you have one cut, it's a good tip to go ahead and use uh, the one that you, first one that you cut and use it as a sample or a template for all your other ones. Okay, so we got our uh, stringers all cut up. Now let's talk about mounting. The way that I'm going about this is, I'm gonna use two by sixes at the base, and then we'll put the uh, stringers on here and then I can attach the stringers to this and then anchor this down to the concrete. I'm going with two, we'll hit one on the heel here and one on the tip. And then for attachment on the top side, just going with a, a block to go in between the stringers. And I'll just butt it up against that. Good tip when putting nails in so close to an end is to pre-drill them. Alrighty, let me get all these stringers set and then we'll go ahead and uh, attach the bottoms. And that should be about, oh wait. Got to put decking on there. Not that lucky. So yeah, let me finish this up and we'll keep on going. Now 
now we're working on the bottom. So basically what I'm doing here is I have these um, bottom, the plates here are cut the same length as from this edge to the edge over there. So basically if I flush this out there and flush it out over there, then they'll be square um, separated. And then also I'll go, I'll make this distance in between here the same as the block up there. And then if there's any adjustments that need to be done, it should move as a unit. And I can just square out the whole thing by just uh, moving this bottom before I set it with um, anchor bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mount these. And then I think tomorrow, the sun's going down, I'll do decking. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alrighty, so before you get out of here and uh, go build your, your own stair um, stringers, let me show you a couple things that I do when uh, installing the, the treads, uh, just to make it easier for you maybe when you're uh, putting your treads on. Alrighty, so first things I'll do is I, I'm gonna have a fascia on that's gonna cover the, the stringers. So I'm just putting that there as a spacer. And then uh, another thing that I'll do is I'll use uh, 20D nails, big old stakes and I'll put those in because they uh, measure out to just about 3 16 and then another thing is I use a block that's cut to this is two inches because I'm having a two inch uh, overhang off the stringer and I'll just use that to get my boards looking flush uh, another thing too is your stair stringers might kind of be bowing a little bit and I, what I did is just added a little uh, temporary storyboard here to kind of keep it together while I'm putting the decking on and once I get to this uh, tread I'll take it off and these should hold it from up here. Um, let's see, one other thing, I'm a stickler for straight lines and all that, but so I'll make my mark right over the center of my stringer. And then on my speed square here, um, I've been kind of using it a lot for this, but I uh, marked where I'm drilling my screws at. So basically this is about an inch and a quarter and it's gotten worn out since I've been doing all the screwing around here. And then I'll just use that mark, put my square on the board and use that mark to pre-drill where my screw's gonna go. But what that does is just keeps all my screws in line, looking good. Um, if you're using composites, they do have these really cool screws. Uh, they just kind of go down flush and they don't like mushroom out the uh, decking. So look into that if you're doing composite. And then just send it home. All right, so there you have it. Some uh, deck stairs, got some stringers cut, putting the treads on. Looks like I'm back to screwing around here. So, hope this was informative and uh, you learned a thing or two. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.